Sportsman's Table. Brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Remember, by South Carolina, it's a matter of taste. Welcome into this week's Sportsman's Table. We're at Frank's Restaurant here in Pauley's Island. And joining me is Paul Kelly, the chef owner of Chai Blossom right here in Pauley's Island. And he goes by PK for short. But we are cooking a great recipe this we week, sure my friend. Are, Thank you it's so my much. Pleasure. Thanks for having me. Well, listen, me. tell me what, what are you going to be cooking up for me today? We're going to be working with Carolina freshwater trout today. A little bit different from all the saltwater fish. So, what we're going to do, we're going to start with this beautiful, beautiful piece of uh, trout right here. We're going to do a little bit of potato crust on there. So, this is an Idaho potato that's been grated and it's been squeezed. The starch has been kind of dropped out of it. Okay, so we just do a nice little light crust on top here. Okay. Pat that down. Okay, I'm going to get this pan going for us real quick. All right. We don't want to have any emergency, uh, you know, vehicles here today. There, there you go. No. Okay, so we do a little salt and pepper. I got to have that. You know it. Now tell me, if folks want to come down and and go to the Chai Blossom. Tell them your website while we're cooking here. Uh, it's uh, www.chaiblossom.com. Okay. Uh, it's got beer, wine, liquor list, our fall and uh, winter menu, spring and summer menu. It's all out there. Uh, special events, everything we like to do. Great. It's, uh, believe it or not, it's right next door to Frank's. There you go. We're right okay. across well, the street. There we go. All right. So what we're gonna do, start with a little bit of whole butter in okay. this pan. Mm. Got to grease the trout up just a little uh, bit. Just huh? a little bit. Okay. This, this butter is going to get brown on us. Oh, I got you. And if everything works out as planned, this trout is going to be a beautiful, beautiful golden brown. Now, folks, if you want a copy of PK's recipe, just log on to BobRedford.com, click on the sportsman's table, and it'll be right there. Oh, just yeah. Now that's the magic. This is the tough part right here. Sliding him right into the pan. Yep. Oh, wow. Now that was an art of magic right there. Yeah, we're going to let that cook down a little bit. Goodness. Now, is it specifically got to be trout? Can folks who may not be able to get trout at their local area or whatever? You, is there yeah, a, you can do this with any fish. The, the trick is you don't want to do it with a, a, a fish like a grouper or a snapper. Okay. Maybe a vermilion Maybe snapper, a, okay. a local small snapper. I got you. It needs to be a thin fillet okay. because you want the fish to cook in the same amount of time that the potatoes brown. I got you. Okay. Whereas a grouper is a thicker piece of fish usually. Well, you know, we get asked that all the time. Well, Bob, I don't have a grouper where I am. I'm in the Midwest or whatever. As long as it's a thin Thin fish, yeah. the fillets are narrow, you're going to be all good to it go. It could be crappie, it could be... It sure could be. Yeah, yes, okay. sir. Yes, yeah. sir. This is not the way we do it at the restaurant, but I'm working on a small pan, not a griddle, so let's hope this works. Oh, look at that. Stop. Look at that. Huh? That's PK the way we like magic. to do it. PK magic. So now we're just going to let this sit and cook for about four more minutes on this side, and while that's getting ready, I'm going to show you what we're going to do after this. Okay. We're going to start to make our sauce. We're working with brown butter, so I have a quarter stick of butter that's been previously browned and it's mixed with capers. So we're going to put that in the pan. Okay. We're going to add some jumbo lump crab meat to that. Mm. We're going to add a little bit of chopped parsley. It already has a squeeze of lemon juice in it. Oh, wow. <clears throat> mm. You know that. That's amazing, the smell of the potatoes and that fish together. It's just, yeah, oh. that's awesome. You know, if you weren't having dinner, all you'd have to do is put a sunny side <laughs> up on it and then you've got breakfast going on. There you go. Okay, so this is about cooked through. So what we're going to do is we're going to just drop that right onto the plate like that. Okay. Oh, man. Hmm. Now we're going to warm up the, uh, the brown butter a little bit. Now this is the spaghetti squash that's involved in the dish. It's, uh, it's been pre-roasted, it's seasoned with butter, salt and pepper, and a little bit of honey. Now I've preheated it for the show today. That goes directly on top of the dish. That's your vegetable. Look at that. Okay. So we've got our brown butter. It's come up to a, a boil. Now what kind of 
flavor does the capers add while you're shoveling it, it, it off? It adds a little brininess to it. I got you. So we're just going to go right over the top of the whole dish with the crab. Man, that's great looking. And the butter. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves a little Carolina Ooh. Jumbo crab, too. Look at that. Huh? So we finish it like that. Child and then what, what makes it really takes it to another level is we finish it with a little bit of toasted South Carolina pecans. Look at that. Wow. Look at there. And there we go. Awesome. That's a chive blossom, potato and crusted trout. Folks, listen, if you would like more great recipes like you saw today on the Sportsman's Table, just log on to CertifiedSCGrown.com. It's a matter of taste. And we'll see you right back here again next week on another great recipe on the Sportsman's Table. If you would like more information on South Carolina grown products, visit them online at CertifiedSCGrown.com. Remember, buy South Carolina. It's a matter of taste.